name is Sean Freeman. Uh, I work at Field Asset Services in Austin, Texas. I've been there for a year and a half. I've been uh, using Managed and Products for almost seven years now, uh, and I've been very satisfied with them. First of all, it's very effective. The, what I do is I have the reports that are scheduled. So I went in and took a little bit of time, designed the reports that are meaningful to me, that I need, that I know the information I have to provide upstream in order to offset or justify capacity planning for staffing, for uh, hardware, for software, for whatever it might be. I have those reports generated and sent to me every Monday. And then I have a standing meeting by myself, with myself. I actually schedule a conference room that's empty, just for me. And uh, I review all the reports every Tuesday morning. So they come to me Monday afternoon, I review them Tuesday morning, they're auto-generated, and what I do is I align those metrics against our growth trends that are historical, and so to make sure that we're on track with where we need to be and look for any spikes or jumps, I also kind of go proactive ahead of time and go to the business and say, is there any new revenue, any new jobs, any new business that we're looking at getting into, acquisitions, things like that, that I'm not aware of, so that I can properly predict how to capacity plan for more than just uh, you know, resources, just hiring a guy here, hiring a guy there. Um, and uh, without the reporting, I wouldn't be able to do that. I mean, it's a combination. The reporting is driven based on the historical trending and the stats and the metrics and the data. So all of that becomes critical, but the reports summarize it in a way that I can quickly look at a one-week, you know, view, a month view, a six-month view, a year view. So as long as I have space to, to store the, the data, which I've made sure that I'm going to have space to store it for, you know, ten years, uh, I'll always be able to look at it and not only look at forward forecasting, but trending based on historical truth. So last year we thought this was going to hit in June. It didn't hit till whatever, September. So this year, you know, if that's the, been the running thing for three years, then I'm going to recommend to the business that we go based on this rule of trending versus on what the, what the marketplace is saying. Uh, they do, absolutely, and, and again, with them, they want specific data, they want it in a specific format, and they only want to see a very small sliver of what is offered. So, you know, there's, let's say, a, a thousand canned reports between the five different software pieces that we use. I might only send three reports to my CIO, but those are the three reports he wants. The great part about it is, once I set it up and I actually just put in the email address, it's automated. It just goes. I don't have to check on it. I don't have to worry about, did he get them? Do I have to do this? It's a task that's automated and therefore I get that time back in my day. So it's fantastic. There's actually several of them. So one, one, uh, one that's actually a pretty serious story is we had uh, a server that uh, is our mail server. It's one of the last to become virtualized. Uh, it's not virtualized yet. We've virtualized 78 servers in less than a year, right? So we have one server remaining. Um, the server actually has a perk card in it, a RAID, basically a perk card. Well, the perk card began to send signals in the event logs that told us the perk card was failing. So while it was still working, it was saying, I'm sensing that I'm about to fail. By being able to do that, what we were able to do is during the Thursday night outage window, which is our maintenance window regularly, we had that card ordered from Dell in stock, replaced it, brought the system back up before it actually failed. Because in the event it actually failed, there would have been a business interruption, there would have been an interruption to the guy's day, to the service, to the community, to our vendors, to our customers. I mean, everything that touches our mail server would have been affected. So that was very impactful. Uh, that was through um, Op Manager and Event Log Analyzer. So we actually got redundant alerts on it, which was fantastic. Uh, so both of the, that tool right there, both those tools just paid for themselves, you know, in one event of being proactive. Uh, and, you know, most people don't realize you can get hardware events like that are written into the event logs, and so it was very good for us to have that. Um, we've had a lot of really funny anecdotal things. You know, we've had things where um, users will go in and, and delete files and uh, through the event log analyzer they'll call us and say yeah I don't know what happened my file disappeared and then we can pull up the event log analyzer and say really because it says here that you deleted it on such and such a day at such and such a time so would you like us to restore that for you from backups and uh, so that's pretty funny too because now people are aware of how much leverage we have how much insight we have and it actually makes them nervous at times even though we tell them look we're not big brother we're not watching what you do but for the benefit of the company, we need to have these things implemented so that we can effectively monitor and support you in a better manner. So, yeah, there, there's, uh, there's a lot of war stories around there.
Absolutely. Every day, the first thing they do is I see them opening the tools. I say, I want to know what's going on with this. Boom. And most of the time, the tools are already open. Uh, you know, we rely heavily, and part of the advantage of the managing and tool suite is you can get SMS notification, you can get text, you can get email, you can get a, a various different ways. You can run scripts automatically if events occur. So, um, you know, they don't always have to have the interfaces open, but a lot of them with certain products will keep the interfaces open just so that they can be interacting with it in real time and see what the results are.